the single greatest knight in German history, the Iron Fist. Let's take a look. Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins and this is React with Hugs. I want to see how he reacts when he thinks no one's watching. I can't help it if he's weird. He's American. He's going crazy with that work. Everybody reacts differently. I think he's weird, but that's me. He's American, you know. Welcome to React with Hugs. Let's take a look at today's comment of the day. So today's comment of the day comes from Not Uni Mouse, and they say, You won't get stabbed and certainly not shot at in the wrong corners with the wrong attitude. You can run into serious problems with the real mafia, though. Ooh, this is referring to basically crime in German cities and how you won't get stabbed or shot at in German cities, but you apparently could run into the real mafia. I don't know if that's the Italian mafia or if it's some other mafia. I don't know. I don't know about organized crime in Germany, but that is interesting. That might be something to check out in the future. Maybe there's some videos out there on organized crime because that's always interesting. But speaking of getting stabbed, <laughs> let's take a look at today's reaction. All right, so I found this video, The Weakest German Knight. <laughs> I don't know what to expect here, but this guy's name is Goetz von Berling Berlichingen? Berlichingen? Goetz von Berlichingen? Maybe, I think, maybe. I don't know. I can't read English, so don't even ask me to read Deutsch. <laughs> but apparently this guy is known as the Iron Fist and is a badass knight in German history. And who doesn't love learning about knights? Not me, because I do love learning about knights. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to learn all about Gutz von Berlichingen. Yeah, so it's a short video, but I think this will be a good... uh overview hopefully of this guy's life so let's see let's check it out oh snap wait a minute wait a minute whoa okay so this guy has an iron fist is this a movie about this guy <gasps> oh man i've definitely never seen this movie but if this is a movie about this guy i gotta check that out dude he has a knife built into his iron fist okay i gotta check out whatever movie that is if you know what movie this is you gotta comment it down below i gotta check this movie out all right let's continue oh wow dude so it looks like these might be old paintings of the actual dude himself oh my the iron hand the iron fist himself look at that dude oh my gosh there he is again i guess oh my gosh what Dude, okay, I'm intrigued. I'm officially intrigued. Okay, so he fought in the armies of the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I. Okay, Burgundy, Lorraine, and the Brabant, and in the Schwabian War. Dude, wait, holy crap, he fought in four different wars? Selling his services to various dukes. Dude, this guy is badass. Okay, let's continue. It's kind of like a meme video, I guess, but... Whoa. Formed a company of mercenaries. What? Okay, so now he's taking charge. He lost his right arm at the wrist. Okay. So his right hand, when cannon fire forced his sword against him. Dude, he got shot by a cannon and lost his hand. That is crazy. Had two mechanical prosthetic iron replacements. He had two hands. Everyone has two hands. Most people have two hands. He had two extra hands. He had four hands in his life. That's crazy. Are these the real hands? Holding objects from a shield or reins to a quill. Dang. Are these actually his hands in a museum? Dude, that is the crazy. Dude. Is this for real? If those are actually his hands, I gotta go to that museum. That is insane. So with these prosthetic hands, he could hold a shield, he could ride a horse, he could write letters. Insane. For a knight back in those days? Claimed to be made by a local blacksmith. Wow. the weakness of my flesh. Fought 15 feuds in his own name, besides many cases where he lent assistance to his friends. Dude, 
<laughs> this dude was always in a tussle. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> Yo! Raided a group of Nuremberg merchants. Mounted a raid into Hesse, capturing Philip IV, Count of Waldeck. Dude, this guy got freaking busy! <laughs> when invited to surrender by the Swabian League, he reportedly said to the Swabian general, You can lick my ass. <laughs> lick mich am Arsch. <laughs> oh my god. Came to be called the Schwabian Salute. What? That's the Schwabian Salute? Dude, I live in Schwabia. Now I know the salute. That's perfect. Now I can say it to everybody. Awesome. Berlichingen led the rebel army. He led a rebel army? After all this stuff, now he's leading a rebel army? <laughs> Dude! Against the ecclesiastical princes of the holy roman empire so dude after fighting in four wars getting into all these scuffles and tussles forming his own raiding parties multiple times now he's leading a, a freaking peasant army a rebel army what what Get your ass back here, boy. served charles v holy roman emperor he's still going 1542 campaign against Ottoman Empire of Suleiman the Magnificent in Hungary. So now he's still about that action. Dum, 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 yeah. Two years later in the imperial invasion of France, Berlichingen returned to the Hornburg, lived out the rest of his life in relative peace. What? What? Bro, really? He lived out the rest of his life in peace? This dude started his career with four wars, went on multiple raiding parties, led a peasant rebellion, helped invade France, served other dukes and kings and whatever the heck else, and then he's like, all right, I'm good now, peace, I'm just gonna go chill. And no one came and messed with him? What? What? Nobody is born cool, except of course. I'd like to thank my patron. Okay, it's not often that I'm left speechless, but dude, this guy's life is insane. I don't even know what to say about it. This is like, this guy's like playing Skyrim in real life. Like, this is insane. He's in all these wars, all these f battles and fights. He's raiding people. He's leading armies and rebellions and working for different counts and dukes and kings and whoever else. And, and then he's just like, all right, I retire now. I'm good. Huh? <laughs> With a freaking iron fist? Huh? Dude, okay, that's it. I'm I'm doing another video on this guy. This was only a minute long video. I need to find a more in-depth video about this guy because this dude might be the most fascinating person in human history, possibly. This guy is crazy. Well, either way, I will pass the question off to you guys. What do you think of the Iron Fist? Have you heard of this guy before this video? Is is he like really famous in Germany, in German history? I'm not sure. I, I feel like he has to be because that he might be the most badass dude in human history. So I feel like he has to be famous, but I don't know. I've never heard of him until now, but I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to make more videos about this guy. I, I have to at least watch one more, like an actual in-depth video about this guy's life because this guy is insane. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.